Hey guys, this is Doug from the website fellowshipofthemartyrs.com. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today about what it means to be a bond servant. People want to argue about free will and predestination and you know all of that kind of stuff. And um, I've got a video where my answer is basically yes, no. What? Yeah, both. I like both. I think both are right and both are wrong. I don't think we can get our head around either one. I think God is too big. I think we're little grasshoppers in his eyes. And uh, that's all there is to it. But uh, in the context of uh, being a bond servant, here's kind of the way I see it. Now, I'm acknowledging that this is just the way I see it. And you take it up with the Lord, look it up in the Word, and you figure it out for yourself. Anyway, to me, uh, it's real simple. Um, Paul talks about how he's a bond servant to Christ, that we are bond servants. A bond servant is a slave who was set free, who had an option, they earned their release, they worked for the specific time limit until they were free to go, but they decide to stay with that master anyway. Now, maybe the wife and the kids are slaves to that same master, and you don't want to leave them behind, and he won't let you stay with them. Or maybe you just love the guy, and you love his family, and, and you, just, you, you just want to commit to him for the rest of your life. And you realize that he's a good master, he's taking good care of you, and you want to stick with him. For whatever reason, a bondservant is a slave that has the option to go free and decides instead to voluntarily return to slavery for that master. And it says that they put the bondservant next, to, they put his ear on the doorpost of the house and pierce it with an awl, and with a, an ice pick. And that marks him as a bondservant. Now the deal is, that master can never sell him, can never trade him, he's never going to go free again, the year of Jubilee doesn't release him, he is forever bonded to that master and he chose that, and that's what he wants. So, um, Paul says we are bond servants, and the implication is, we were slaves to sin, then we were set free, and now we're slaves to Jesus. You know that we basically are so grateful to the guy that set us free that we're going to keep serving him and be a slave to him. Now, if we are bond servants, then what free will do we have? What choices do we really have? A, a, a slave didn't have choices. They were set free. Now they have choices. And they chose not to have any more choices. They wanted to go back into slavery for this guy that set them free. So, um, I, I don't. if I'm a bondservant to Christ, what choices do I have? A bondservant doesn't get to decide where he wants to live or what he wants to eat or what kind of job he wants to do. He just obeys. He's a slave. He's a voluntary, permanent slave. And and he had free will long enough to decide he wanted to be a bondservant. And, uh, and of course this is a really serious decision. This is not a go down the altar, sign a little dedication card, and that's it, I'm a bondservant. You need to count the cost. You need to be sure. And you need to really mean it. And uh, if you really are a bond servant, you, why do you think you have choices left? Why do you think you have options? Why do you think you get to direct your own paths, that you get to steer your little ship, your little, your little life? You don't. He is Master, King, Commander, Lord, and Savior. Yeah, He set you free. And if you love Him, you'll obey Him. And you know, how do you obey him more? How, how do you love him more? How do you prove to him that you love him? You obey him better. If you were obeying eventually, you start obeying immediately. If you were obeying generally, you start obeying specifically. Then you teach other people to obey him. That's how you prove to him that you love him. That he's the kind of master you want to have and you want to keep and you don't want him to sell you or trade you or give you away. Anyway, 
certainly a bond servant. Maybe there's some acceptable range of decision making that they have based on their trust that they have from their Lord, from their master. Maybe there's some little wiggle room where they can decide some things. But basically everything needs to get cleared through the master. Because you are not your own. Or at least you shouldn't be your own. Anyway, how good a bond servant are you? How much free will are you exerting instead of just listening and doing whatever he tells you to do? Something to think about. And uh, I know it's a shocker, but you know this video is going to be about half the length normal. <laughs> hey, call it a bonus. And uh, anyway, thanks for listening. God bless you. I pray that Almighty God, Yahweh, King of the Universe, will put fear of the Lord in your heart so that you will realize how big He is and how little you are and how much you need to obey Him because He's God, not because you get some payoff at the end. Thanks. More on this on fellowshipofthemartyrs.com.